एक्वस सोल्यूशन इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ एक्वस सोल्यूशन एंड वाई सम एक्वस सोल्यूशन कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड अदर्स डू नॉट Before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of conceptual lectures for free Firstly let me teach you that what is aqueous solution Well the word aqueous is derived from a latin word aqua Aqua means water so aqueous solution means water solution For example when you add sugar into the water you get aqueous solution when you add salt into the water you get aqueous solution therefore we define aqueous solution as the solution which is formed by dissolving a substance in water is called aqueous solution let me repeat it The solution which is formed by dissolving a substance in water is called aqueous solution. In aqueous solution, usually water is present in large amount as a solvent. Thus remember that when we dissolve any substance in water, we get aqueous solution. Now why water is known as a universal solvent? Well the answer is very simple it is because water has the ability to dissolve a large number of substances therefore we call it as a universal solvent here let me ask you is every substance is soluble in water the answer is no not every substance is soluble in water water is a polar covalent compound only polar compounds are soluble in water like salt and sugar non polar compounds are not soluble in water like oil and petroleum thus remember that only polar compounds are soluble in water non polar compounds are not soluble in water now what happens to a substance when it is dissolved in water Let consider a ionic compound like salt. We know that ionic compounds exist in crystalline form. When we dissolve ionic compounds like salt into the water, they dissociate into respective ions. Salt dissociates into sodium and chlorine ions. Here let me give you a bonus tip. Can you differentiate between NaCl S and nacl aq i hope you can nacl means that salt sodium chloride nacl is present in solid or crystalline form while nacl aq means that salt sodium chloride is dissociated into sodium and chlorine ions in the water thus whenever you see s as a subscript with any ionic compound remember that it will be in the crystalline or solid state while whenever you see aq as a subscript with any compound remember that it will be in the dissociated form in water or in aqueous solution also you should learn do aqueous solutions conduct electricity well the answer is yes and no if there are free ions in the aqueous solution it will then conduct electricity like aqueous solution of salt it has free ions like sodium and chlorine so they conduct electricity note it down that aqueous solution of all ionic compounds conduct electricity now if there are no free ions in the aqueous solution then it will not conduct electricity like aqueous solution of sugar there are no free ions in aqueous solution of sugar so it doesn't conduct electricity remember that those aqueous solutions which conduct electricity are called electrolytes for example the aqueous solution of salt is also known as a electrolyte while those aqueous solutions which do not conduct electricity are also called non electrolytes for example the aqueous solution of sugar is also known as a non electrolyte finally remember that 
we do not only study aqua solutions and chemistry in our daily life we human beings use and drink many aqua solutions so aqua solutions are important for both the human and animals survival that's why we study aqua solutions this was all about aqua solutions